Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Joe Gaines with Nancy Likens back here welcoming everybody to the 35th annual uh, Wadsworth Blue Tip Parade. This is uh, the 2007 version. We're honoring all the military men and women for their dedication and service to our country. And carrying this year's banner are the Interact High School students. Please stand to honor our local color guard. It just went by. It's kind of a rainy day, so we're going to... It you know, is. The crowd doesn't look too bad, though. It looks a little sparse. The crowd sparse actually past, looks great for the day. We had a torrential downpour yeah, here just a little bit ago, Joe. I was a tad bit worried we weren't going to get this in. And I heard from Kathy Stegmeyer, the mayor's um, administrative assistant, that they've never canceled the parade. Oh, that's why as far as she knows. So the show must go on. And here we are, yep, and it really the skies have cleared, <laughs> and I, I think we're in for a great treat tonight. Well, I called WCTV to ask them if everything was okay, and they said, hey, rain or shine. Rain Never or shine, canceled, the so show must go on. Yes, so I, I think we're, we're in for a real, another really great evening so. of entertainment and local fun, and you can see shots of the crowd, and the kids are here. A lot of kids. They're ready to go. 35 years, it's hard to believe it's been that. 35 yeah. years. This is what, our third year together? This is our third year together, and many more to come, I hope. And I hear music. The band is coming, and I think we're going to hopefully see them. Yes, here you see a quick shot of them. And they are our award-winning Wadsworth High School Band. We're just going to sit back and listen for a Yes, moment. let's do that. Director of the band is Steve Hatches, and the band is growing every year. It's doing very well. And following the band are the Wadsworth High School cheerleaders. Yay! And now, coming right up, Joe, is this year's Blue Tip Parade Grand Marshal, who is Wadsworth native, retired U.S. Air Force Brigadier General Fred Larson. Mr. Larson has served in numerous staff positions and commanded the 179th Airlift Wind at Mansfield Lamb Airport in Mansfield from 1986 to 1985. He is a command pilot with more than 7,700 hours in theater airlift, fighter, and trainer aircraft. Mr. Larson is here today to light the blue tip match in honor of his classmate, U.S. Air Force Captain Alan R. Trent. And here's also the Grand Marshal float. In addition, our Grand Marshal, the Blue Tip Parade, is also honoring all the men and women who have dedicated their lives and service for our country. Riding in this year's co-Grand Marshal float are individuals representing each military branch of service. We have Iraq veterans, Lance Corporal Brian Carpenter, uh, representing the U.S. Marines, retired U.S. Army Sergeant Leon uh, Durich, uh, representing the U.S. Army, and Iraq veteran Chief Petty Officer Tim Ryan, representing U.S. Navy. And, and the, <laughs> and the Sky right Park guys. booster went right by us, the Sky Park Veterans Memorial, honoring our war heroes. And here comes the Marine Corps unit. The HMV is driven by the Marine Corps from the Akron Wadsworth area. Many of the area Marines could not be with us tonight. They have recently been shipped out to Australia. Oh. I didn't know there was any problem. And there, there. is Uncle Sam. 
Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and continuing our military honor, we have the Wadsworth Veterans of Foreign War Post 1089. If you hear a voice in the background, that's Charlie. It's Charlie, Offerman. keep it down, Charlie. <laughs> and coming right up is continuing to mili our mini military honor. We have the Wadsworth Veterans of Foreign War Post 1089. And our local American Legion Auxiliary Post 170. And coming up, the Marine Corps League of Medina County is a dedicated group, dedicated group of Marines who take to heart helping the local community. We provide various services such as funeral details for fallen veterans at the National Cemetery in Ritman. We also take part in many local parades and events throughout the year, and the biggest contribution is the annual Toys for Tots drive that provides hundreds of children with a Christmas they otherwise would not have had. In addition, they have helped raise money for the Marines serving in Iraq to provide them with items and gear they are in need of. We have a lot of names that we, we could have mentioned. We There's so do. many numerous who want to keep up with the parade, but we really want to honor the veterans, and not only those, who, of course, representing Wadsworth, but all of our soldiers overseas. And it's great to, to see so many veterans here today at, at the parade. Oh, most definitely. Young and old alike, those that have served many years ago and those who are currently right. coming out of service or maybe going into service even and we certainly do appreciate them and honor their dedication to our country couldn't have said any better you're right about the dedication we certainly appreciate that absolutely and I believe now we're probably lighting the blue tip flame. That's I don't know point. if we can get right. a shot of that or not, but that's Mr. Larson who would be lighting the match. And he says, I would like to dedicate the 2007 Blue Tip Parade and Festival to my friend and fellow pilot, my class of 58 WH classmate, WHS classmate, U.S. Air Force Captain Alan R. Trent, who made the ultimate sacrifice for his country in Cambodia on May 13, 1970. Alan was passionate about flying and passionate about his career. Unfortunately, his career ended before he could attain his highest goal of being a flying chaplain. He will always be remembered as one of Wadsworth's hometown heroes. Very good. Excellent and that's what sentiment. it's all about. Yeah, it is. He was one of our own. And but when all is said and done, this parade is, is really about the people of Wadsworth, the city oh. of Wadsworth, and those who have contributed so much to, to its growth, to its past, and obviously to its future, which is very bright. It's a great community. Look at all the kids. They're having a ball, <laughs> I'll tell you. It's a, it's a parade for kids, too. Kids of all ages, but these little ones are really enjoying, enjoying the show and... Lots more to come. We know that. Well, the weather looks a lot better than it did oh, when we first started. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little worried. Well, we have our tent. <laughs> this will we help. We do. We have a tiny bit of protection, but I have hope that it's going to stay clear and bright and the skies will be blue. Yeah, it seems for like the rest it's doing that. Day. It seems like more people are coming in, too. Yeah, we put in our requests for good weather, didn't we? <laughs> yes. Keep that match lit. I think it stays lit. In oh, all wait. weathers, oh, yes. Well, does it, it does, stop yeah. if it rains? I think it. I don't know. It flows. I wonder right how many years they've, they've lit the, the match. I, 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 I want to say it's more than 35. Now we have to search down Andy McIlvain. He is the the chief honcho of this whole parade initiative, and he does a beautiful job organizing mm -hmm. and orchestrating this event because there's a little bit behind the scenes preparation. I think you can see our WCTV crew here. There's Ken Buck and. He's at the controls, and a lot of work goes into putting this sucker on, doesn't well, it? Well, it's good to have Ken back. I remember when it Ken is. used to do these shows <laughs> when he was about 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pursuing a career, I do believe, I hopefully, is, yes. in the broadcast In fact, I think he graduates this year. I wish good him luck, all Ken. the best. Good luck, Ken. Come back and use your talents in your hometown, right? starting to warm up a little bit too. It sure is. I think it's going to be a beautiful night for a parade and that's what we're aiming for. Lots of 
good weather, good fun, and of course the festivities down at Memorial Park, mm -hmm. and we can't forget about those after the parade, and that'll go on all week, and lots of fun things to do down there. Well, there'll be a lot of rides, a, a lot of rides uh, and good food. Sure, games, everything. Games, this is always a prelude to, to, you know, to the festival. To it's a great way to kick sure. off summer. I think when you the blue tip comes, you know that summer's in full swing. And, and tomorrow's the first day of summer. That's right. And away we go. Okay, and coming up is the Civil Air Patrol, or as we know it, CAP, is the official auxiliary of the United States Air Force. CAP has served proudly since the beginning of World War II and continues today with the missions as part of the Department of Homeland Security. The Medina County Skyhawk Squadron is a composite unit which includes cadets and senior members. All members participate in the primary missions of leadership training, aerospace education, and emergency service. The squadron is commanded by Captain Steve Merriman of Medina, Ohio. And right behind that is an up-close shot of our very own mayor, James Renacci, driving in a very sporty looking Cadillac Sportster of some sort. It's a caddy. <laughs> it is a caddy convertible, and the mayor looks great in it. Well, we got a moment here. One thing I want to say, too, is that the Marine Corps should always be given credit for their toys for tots. Oh, I noticed that you know, they've gone by with the, uh, uh, the, the military jeep, the vehicle, and uh, that's always been... Since I can remember, since 19, yes. you know, after World War II, in yes. fact, probably before that, the Marines have always contributed to, to children and always looking for more toys to give to tots. For toys for tots has always been a main idea of the Marine Corps. It's a good way of giving back, not that they've not given so much oh. already, but goodness, they continue to give and are to be commended for that effort. And there's one of our, our finest cadets, is that not? Mm -hmm. And the, of the CAP, the Civil Air Patrol. And he remained on duty through that whole ordeal. He's he's standing standing tall and strong. Which is hard to do when John Madding comes <laughs> up to you with <laughs> right the camera in your face. Right in your face. I know. I can never do it. <laughs> hard to keep a straight face in front of the camera, isn't it? And we want to thank WCTV. Oh, I, I think they do an excellent job. And this is what always makes Wadsworth just a little bit different, you know, a little bit more caring And that, you know, you've got an organization like WCTV that, yes. that always is out there to promote what's good about this city Certainly. and good about its people. Well, it's a great connection that the community has to what's going on. I and mean, busy people, oh. we can't be at everything. And this way, if... You didn't get a chance to come on down to the parade. You get to see it. It will run. I know we heard a whole, whole bunch of times. Um, and sit back and watch and enjoy and get in tune with what's going well, on. Well, how many cities are so much, you know, larger than Wadsworth that don't have an access cable system like we do here? Oh, it's exactly. Always, you know, teaching at the high school, I can tell you, it's always been a very, very important part of the high school and certainly of, of the city. Most definitely. I think we're starting to move again, Joe. And here is our float. The Magnolia Village Retirement Community has been in Wadsworth for many years caring for our elder residents. We're honoring, honoring today the Miss Magnolia pageant winner. Oh. It's a pretty van. It's beautiful. Done a lot of work on that. I hope we can get a shot of Miss Magnolia. She's probably riding in style, I would imagine. I know lots of these folks. And the little sign says, well, our residents blossom. Yes, they do. And we just got hit by candy. Ah, they're throwing <laughs> candy at me, Joe. Uh-oh, and right up behind them. Well, there's Miss Magnolia. Yes, there she is. Oh, blowing kisses to the crowd. <laughs> That's excellent. And coming up right behind is the Wadsworth Health WRH Health System, uh, it's our community hospital. Some new and exciting things about to happen at the hospital through the caring service and advanced technology that we've come to expect and will never change. Walking in the parade is WRH Health System CEO Jim Pope. Hopefully we'll get a shot of him coming up. 
and several members of the hospital's administrative team, as well as members of the hospital's auxiliary volunteers. WRH Health System Bus is used to take the hospital's rehabilitation center patients on outings to prepare them to return to independent living. The bus is also used for those in the hospital service area who need transportation for their health care appointments. This service is free to all who qualify and WRH Health System advanced health care from people who care. And just went by was Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, uh, Huntington National Bank located in downtown Wadsworth featuring the 27th annual Rosie Award winners and that's who is on that float. And Ultra Care went by, they're located at the end of Garfield, Ultra Care of Wadsworth. Here comes the Trinity United Church of Christ. They're in a sporty little Jeep. Well, that's an old Jeep. That's an old Willys. That's an old yeah, Jeep. Yeah, that's straight from World War II. Early 50s, late 40s. We've got some walkers telling about what's coming up. There's a balloon man. We and have a balloon and man And he's delivering here. us candy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Here comes the Medina County Health Department, which has been protecting health, preventing disease, and providing service since 1918. Last year, the Medina County Health Department provided 47,374 inspections, nursing, nursing visits, emergency preparedness drills, birth and death certificates, women, infant, and children visits, uh, and educational service for all of Medina County. No matter where you live or travel to, Medina County Health Department is your health department. And right behind them was Hospice of Wadsworth Whitman. Wadsworth, uh, the Hospice of Wadsworth Whitman exists to enhance the quality of life for patients and their families while allowing them to maintain dignity and independence through our personal professional services. Ooh. And right behind them, the Girl Scouts, the Wadsworth Girl Scouts, building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. And of course, today's Girl Scouts are tomorrow's leaders. Well, there's a nice dog. <laughs> there are some of them. Here comes the Wadsworth Jolly Workers 4-H Club. It's one of the oldest in Medina County. We want people to know 4-H is not just for farm kids. Come see what 4-H has to offer. <laughs> Call the Ohio State University Extension Office in Medina for more information. There's the Jolly Workers. Great looking float. A lot of happy young ladies on yes. there, uh, kids, boys, girls. It's a good looking crowd. And right behind them is the Kinder Care Learning Center, the child, child care center that has been in the Wadsworth community for over 20 years. They offer child care for children ages 6 weeks to 12 years. Stop by to tour their center. I think we got some gymnastics coming up here. <laughs> I want to say I can remember when I could do that, this but is that was only a dream. <laughs> goodness gracious. Many, many, many years ago. I wouldn't even attempt to try it now. This is the West Side Gymnastics. It's a club that has been training boys and girls in gymnastics for cheerleading and cheerleading for 22 years. We have trained state and national champions and currently have former students cheering for both Kent State and Ohio State. Our main emphasis is on fitness uh, and perceptual motor activities for preschool and school age children. Our facility has two tumble tracks, an in-ground trampoline, in-ground foam pit, and school pit, uh, preschool pit, and a climbing wall. Have fun, get fit. Well, you'd have to be fit to do any of those. Especially with routine. a wet road. <laughs> and the crowd loves it. They just were going crazy. Nice job, girls. Goodness. Here they go again, Joe. Woo! <laughs> and the Wadsworth Fantastics are coming up. The Fantastics is a group of hardworking young people, your future leaders. Each young person is working hard toward individual and group growth. The club is active in community service as well, either individually or as a whole. Fun activities, friendship, and personal growth is what 4-H is all about. Here comes our local BSA.
Troop 406 and has been sponsored by Sacred Heart Church in Wadsworth since 1933. Scott Baldwin is the current Scoutmaster, assisted by Norman uh, Tipton, Dennis Waugh, Roth, and Dave McGraw. This is Boy Scouts of America Troop 406. Great. Love the hat. <laughs> nice looking float. They're out for a... Uh, something's on fire. Yeah, something's <laughs> cooking there. <laughs> looking good. Yeah. <laughs> He's having a reaction to it. That was pretty snazzy. I like that. I think kids always, I can remember when I was a, a kid in a parade, always loved to have their bikes in the parade and all oh, decorated. Yeah. There's one with a flag. Sure. You could spit shine that bike clean and get it ready to roll. And this is uh, Cub Scout Pack 3401. And, and here comes Cub Scout Pack 3402 which meets at the Wadsworth United Methodist Church. Club ma Cub Master is Matt Henderson. St assistant Cub Masters are Scott Vallant and Ron Woodward. Uh, we'll have new Cub signs up, sign ups on September 20th at 7 p.m. at Wadsworth United Methodist Church. And next up is the Reds baseball team, the Sea League Reds 11, 12 year old boys baseball team representing WYBSA and sponsored by a local manufacturer here in town, Goldsmith and Eggleton. They're riding um, in the Big Red Machine. The manager is Paul Alec, and assistant coaches are Pete Katzeros, Rodney Landers, and Mark Mora. That's a pretty and good arm. a bunch of players that, that, that can really throw. Oh, here's one hand delivering. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, we're doing pretty good with the candy so far. So. <laughs> That's excellent. Joe's giving the candy away. Charlie hey, always Charlie, wants. Charlie, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want the bubble gum, just the chocolate. Okay, he's giving it back, Joe. <laughs> here, this is a nonprofit soccer association. It's the Wadsworth Amateur Soccer Association, and it's in its 18th year. It's hard to believe it because it seemed just so new to me. It is managed by a seven-member board of directors, led by President Pat uh, Chingle. Uh, the association has grown to over 1,200 players, ages 4 through 70. The Mall Park Complex off of Treese Road is the home of 13 fields managed, maintained, and manicured by many unselfish volunteers. WASA also hosts the, the uh, Frank J. Mall, I think that should be Frank J. Mall Memorial Soccer Tournament every Labor Day weekend. Get in the game and support WASA Visit Mall Park. And Good. I know the malls personally, and they're very much in the soccer. And there, of course, the is Wadsworth Youth Wrestling, and lots of the wrestlers on board. They should have pretty good arms too. These are these are the strong guys. And there they are, Wadsworth Youth Wrestling. And here comes Grizzly fast pitch. Team accomplishments are 12U and 14U teams took first place at state. 14U team placed 17th out of 123 teams at Pony Nationals as well as taking first place in the CVEL League. Well that's quite an accomplishment. They, they've got some snazzy uniforms too. And a couple of fans riding behind. I think. This is the 10U Wadsworth uh, Sound Sun Devils travel baseball team. They went 10 and 3, as their record says. I love those uniforms. Okay. They Thank look very too. much like Wadsworth Grizzlies yes, at the high school. They're, they're young Wadsworth Grizzlies. Yes, they're up and coming Grizzly players. They're a travel team. <laughs> and they're number one. And they're number one. Yes, they're they making are. everybody know yes, it for sure. Yes, they are. But not throwing any candy, I might add, so. They're a sporty looking gang, that's for sure. And I believe coming up in the big truck is the Medina Indian Guides and Indian Princesses. The father and child organization offers opportunity for fathers to spend quality time with their children. 
<laughs> Relationships flourish as children participate in various activities, campouts, and learning experiences. And here they are. I'm laughing because driving the huge truck is the, the Thompson family. Thompson uh -huh. And they've been a certain, a, certainly a part of Wadsworth uh, For a long, community long in a long, time. long yes, time. Yes, they have. They probably have built more <laughs> homes here. <laughs> Here's a, a beautiful red redone Chevy. I want to say about 64. Gosh, I'm glad Antala. you know your car. I don't know my car. <laughs> after a while. I know it's I'm red. Sure that's about a 64. I know it's a be. car. That's a Bel Air, which that's is about a notch down from an Impala. That's a beaut. Beautiful car. Well, this is a 1964 Chevy Bel Air Classic. Mm -hmm. It received first place at Ridgewood Baptist Church and second place in Copley Heritage Day Parade and Community Fun, uh, Family Fun Festival. And Jerry uh, Candleball is driving that. I see that. And here comes the Medina County Park District. Uh, which has been serving the residents of Medina County for over 40 years. During the last four decades, we have worked diligently to acquire and preserve over 4,600 acres of land and develop them into 21 parks and preserves across the country. While visiting our parks throughout the year, residents can enjoy hiking, fishing, picnics, and both educational and recreational programs. The park district float was made possible by the help of our wonderful park volunteers. And right behind them, very fittingly, are our folks from Steiner Youth Center. Our Wadsworth Recreation Department invites Wadsworth kids to join them this summer in some recreational fun free of charge at the Franklin School Playground. And is this the... Morrison Playmakers, Morrison Playmakers, know. yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome the Playmakers and the cast from the Jungle Book. Information about the production is being passed out as the kids march. Please come and see the show and bring the whole family. And right behind them, Kim's College of Martial Arts, the Pinnacle Campus. Their emphasis is on fitness with purpose, family activity, self-defense, physical, and moral fitness. And here comes the WCTV float, Wadsworth Community Television. Watch this parade and all your favorite community programs and events on WCTV channel 15, 16, 17. WCTV, a better community through communications. That's the polka time, guys, or at least one of them. Mr. Gabrosik. Yes. Restocking the candy. That's important. <laughs> and there's a good shot of Joe. He's been on for many, many, many years. Polka time again. There he is. Good job. And Breakpoint going right by. We just see the tail end of that van. Breakpoint is an after-school club for 5th and 8th fifth to eighth graders in Wadsworth. They provide homework assistance, computers, video games, field trips, community service projects, and indoor and outdoor recreation. Time is now to register for the next school year. You can hear the music and you can see the people. Here comes Jazzercise. When you love your workout, results come easy. Jazzercise combines elements of jazz, dance, uh, resistance training, uh, Pilates, yoga, kickboxing, and more to create truly effective programs for people of all ages and fitness levels. Look at them go. The Wadsworth classes are located at the Wadsworth Fitness Zone. Next to Bueller's instructors are A.J. Neely, Colleen uh, Archer, Bridget Whitney, and Gina Mendel. For more information, contact www jazzerinwadsworth.com that's Z-A-Z-Z that's J-A-Z-Z-I-N wadsworth.com this there they is go. really a crowd favorite let me tell you these ladies they deserve every bit of recognition they get <laughs> and you know that can't be easy you don't see me doing it. <laughs> see me doing it no, either. At least not publicly. <laughs> Looks like a giant pretzel yeah, coming up here. I I think so. We've got a few few folks walking the route. Little ones. 
coming up, you can see him in the distance coming up in the truck, is the We Are Rolling Pretzel Company located in Wadsworth, Walmart. I'd like to introduce you to Rolly, who's your mascot. Rolly invites you to stop by and try a free sample of homemade soft pretzels, offering a nice variety of flavors, the best in town. Lots of goodies for the We're Rolling Pretzel Company. And they say, come try and you'll be back. Here's Pancor, or Pancor uh, Carpatric Wellness Center, which offers natu natural, gentle, and effective chiropractic care for all ages, a pediatric through uh, geriatric. We are celebrating our second year anniversary. Look for our blue tip specials at anniversary coupons. Dr. Jennifer Pancur looks forward to sharing the many healing benefits of chiropractic, chiropractic with you. And goodness gracious, coming up is a giant UPS United Parcel Service truck. And UPS celebrates their 100th anniversary just this year. And we're going to get a great shot of this. This How can you miss beast. it? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where he's taking everything. I wonder. Well, I hope he gets it's off the parade truck. route quick because there's got to be a lot of stuff located in those. What do you call those double trailer type things? Double trailer double tra type <laughs> things. Come on, Joe. There's got to be a technical <laughs> term for that. Big truck. Big truck. Extra big. Extra big truck. With balloons on it. Well, it's a beaut. That's for sure. And 100 years in business. Does it seem like... A hundred no. years? Is that right? It can't right? be a hundred years. Is that a typo, do you think? No. Hundredth anniversary. <laughs> I we'll have to check our we'll have to check our sources on that one, Joe. And John getting a couple of great shots of some of the fans along the parade route and boy Wadsworth comes out for its parade, does it not? A lot of young people, a lot of people who I recognize because I yes. have in class at some point. Ho hoping for some candy. <laughs> We're getting it hand delivered to us. You couldn't ask for a better deal than that. Well, they could throw it a little softer. They really could. <laughs> I like the young gentleman who hand delivered it to us. I thought that was pretty snazzy, but uh, we really are having a great time. A beautiful evening. It finally turned out to be dry and. Mm -hmm. Some good Beautiful. shots of the crowd. Oh, got a yeah. good crowd now. A lot of balloons. Balloons and lots of, lots of candy. I'm looking forward in the future bringing my own grandson oh. to watch this when he gets a little bit older. I think it's great for little kids. Oh, it is. Well, it's a Wadsworth tradition, no doubt about that. And right behind UPS is Grace Lutheran Church. Their float thing based on a big... Uh, vacation Bible School theme for this year, Take the Plunge, will be held the week after Blue Tip Festival, Sunday, June 24th through Friday, June 29th. Well, look at this float. It's got, looks like a bubble factory on it. And there's really lots, of, lots of bubbles and, and a whirly gig making them go. That's pretty clever. I bet the kids put that together. I don't remember any float like that in the past. It's I don't either. That is really clever. Take the plunge. That's their theme this year. Well, here's one of your favorite groups coming up behind. Oh, yes, indeed. I do like these kids. Well, we're going to get a get. We're going to get another good shot of this float, so you can see the bubbles and in, in, in full bubbling. Well, that's an interesting device, isn't it? Yeah, it is very clever. I think that's terrific. Nice job, kids. And coming right up behind are the Jam and Jumpers. The Jam and Jumpers Jump Rope Team comprised of Wadsworth and Norton Jumpers. And they've been jumping since 1998. They've competed at Junior Olympics, the U.S. Air, Junior National Competition, and Walt Disney in Florida. Give them a round of applause. They continue to help our community become a healthier generation by jumping rope. Some of that's very difficult. We've got a young man it out there is. jumping rope. Goodness. You don't see that too often. Well, you don't. And, and that's an excellent. Isn't that how boxers train? Yeah, it is. Jumping it's rope. an excellent so exercise. You're right. It's not around? easy either. No, it looks easy, but it's not. It looks a lot easier than it might be. Coming up behind is Colleen Swiddick. Uh, it's her first year as Medina County Recorder and looks forward to fulfilling her duties as your county recorder. Throwing out some candy for the crowd. Always the popular thing in our parade. 
the county recorder records things for the county, I would assume, <laughs> would you not? Okay, it's an elected can, position. It is yeah. an elected oh, position. Oh, I'm sure there's much it's more the to that. Master it keeps all the, the records, records sure. and such. Correct. You know, everything from probably licenses to land. That's an important job. It preserves our history. Check, check out this hairstyle. You don't see that every day of the week, Joe. John's getting Well, I do at high school. Oh, <laughs> here is Dean Holman. There's a better hairstyle. Yeah. Maybe in a, a different kind of hairstyle. Our own Dean Holman, the Dinah County prosecutor since 1989. And Dean's office has handled more than 700 criminal felony indictments per year. It also handles juvenile delinquency complaints. Of course, the county prosecutor's office works to protect the community by thoroughly and aggressively prosecuting cases, felony cases, that is. So hats off to Mr. Holman and his, and his staff. <laughs> Terrific shots of Mr. Holman. Here comes the Sharon Camp. A holiness camp. Uh, Sharon Camp is a non-denominational church camp on Route 94. The dates for camp are June 21st to July 1st. Contact caretakers Joel and Chris Conkey for more information on the youth director uh, or the youth director Kristen Neg at 300-608-1437. Uh, if you are between the ages of 12 to 18. Right, and here are the Akron Fossils and Science Center, the AFSC, it's a Creation Science Museum located in Copland. It offers hands-on exhibits, summer camps, and birthday parties, science classes, and an outdoor adventure park. Come and try their giant slide or soar on a 200-foot zip line. And here's the Wadsworth Library Bookmobile, which makes 35 neighborhood stops each week during the summertime. Visitors to the Bookmobile may select from a collection of over 4,000 items. I like who's standing out in front of the door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, place reserves on other items uh, from the library's catalog and participate in the annual summer reading club activities. During the winter, the Bookmobile serves students at Sacred Heart, Isham Valley View, Lincoln, Central uh, Intermediate, Franklin Overlook Schools, as well as local neighborhoods during the evening. And right behind them is Longfellow's Restaurant and Tavern. They operate have been operating in West Wadsworth for over 30 years. Live bands and karaoke weekly. They have one of the largest game rooms in Wadsworth, if you didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. Longfellow's Tavern. Here comes T.J. Shannon Construction Company. The mes best memories are made at home. Let T.J. Shannon make your home a place you want to stay, relax, and make memories. Tim Dawson and Jim Shannon meet uh, while attending carpentry classes. They met while attending carpentry classes at Wadsworth High School, and they are now celebrating 15 years in business. You can sign up to win the playhouse and the kitchen set at the vendor's tent down at the Blue Tip Festival. And they saw a little sample of their playhouse right, right. on the float there. Right. The There's tree. the Akron Beacon Journal just went by. Here it comes. Akron Beacon Journal. Sporting their van at Ohio.com. Here is Commissioner Pat uh, Geisman, a Medina County first female commissioner. She's coming up here in a moment right after the beacon. There she is. There's She's Pat. presently serving her 15 year, 15th year as county commissioner. She is riding a 1986 Corvette, an official pace car driven by her husband, Lee. And there's Steve Hambly. He's our Medina County commissioner, right behind Pat in another beautiful red convertible. Oh. <laughs> Happy fan? I don't know. Can't really oh, tell. Oh, I think she is. <laughs> of course she is. Since 2004, the Wadsworth Community Band, under the direction of Dr. William Bauer, has been entertaining the Wadsworth community through a series of band concerts. The mission of the band is to provide a musical and social outlet for those who enjoy playing music, to provide musical entertainment and social opportunities to fellow 
citizens and to promote the value of music and education and in the community. The band cordially invites the community to join them in celebrating the 4th of July at their next concert on the 4th at 7 p.m. on the lawn of OJ Work Auditorium. The band also invites the community to the Festival of Community Bands to be held downtown Wadsworth July 17th. That's the Wadsworth Community Band. Mm -hmm. And right behind them is the Lisa Avanti and they'll be moving to Wadsworth Crossings just this fall. They'll be morphing into a spa salon, adding massages, face, facials, makeup, in addition to their current customer offering. Morphing? Morphing. <laughs> Here comes the Chase uh, Bank. J.P. Morgan Chase & Company is the leading global financial, financial services firm with assets of four point trillion, always want to say trillion, and operations in more than 50 countries. Chase is a leader in investment banking, financial service for consumers, uh, small business and commercial banking, financial transactions, processing, asset management, and private equity. And there they are, walking the parade route, and their mascot must be a dog. And Joe, coming up, Jingle oh. Brothers Incorporated, a.k.a. the Ice Cream Man. And they're throwing ice cream. And they're throwing ice Throw cream. Ice cream. Yahoo! We get candy, but no ice cream. Did you know that their truck is available for parties, picnics, and company functions? No gathering is too big or too small. And you can call them at 848-2820. Pizza cab. <laughs> That's great. Sure. Oh, look at you. Thank you. Oh, we just got hand-delivered ice cream, Joe. I'm passing mine on to Charlie. Yeah, I think uh -oh, my wife's going to get one. <laughs> There's a blue man. Oh, goodness. And here comes Valley View Towing, which has been servicing Wadsworth, Medi Medina County since 1962. We service AAA, AAA, and all major road service clubs. We tow cars, trucks, tractors, and trailers. We also have land Landol service, uh, service. We do auto and light truck repairs, family owned. Yes, indeed. And coming up, D&D &D Heating and Cooling, owned by Dan Dunkel, who's lived in Wadsworth for over 30 years. And, and he has quite a fan base as well, and a nice trailer of fans throwing, or fans, folks throwing candy. And flyers, which are always popular on sure. the parade route. Get to learn a little bit about what's available in Wandsworth. And here we go, right behind D&D, &D, you hear the Red Knights Mo Motorcycle Club of Wadsworth, Chapter 3, made up of firefighters, active, retired, and spouses. Joe Trumblock is president of the Wadsworth Chapter. We have 18 members to date. If interested in joining, give me a call at 330-334-3011 or go online to jtrumblock at aol.com. And starting off our parade of fire trucks is the 1961 C-grade. 900B Canopy Cab Pumper serving Covington, Kentucky in active service for over 40 years. Sea Graves were built in Columbus, Ohio from the turn of the century until the 70s. And we're going to see an awful lot of fire trucks. There's Wadsworth's Fire Department. Yes, Wadsworth's finest. Great looking trucks. All shined up for the parade. Yep. We owe an awful lot to the volunteers and to mm. all those who, who work for the emergency yes, and for Wadsworth do. Fire. And what a wonderful department. service that they provide in, and not one without risk, that's for sure. That's we did just learn about well that put. today, and thank you to all these men and women who take good care of our city and There's good care of us. There's our ladder truck number one. Lots of friends. <laughs> I'm getting offered to drive the truck, Joe. I, I think that's a dangerous thing. You get the truck, I'll, oh, I'll take the ice cream truck. <laughs> Here comes the Wadsworth Fire and EMS, the ambulance. Another terrific service offered in our city. We're very, very fortunate to have such great service and the the response time is phenomenal. Folks don't have to wait very long. Help is just a phone call away. We're awfully, awfully indebted to these folks for taking good care of us. And as their motto says, they're when you need us. That's and right. And, and indeed they are. 
You're right. We owe them a special thanks. Yes, Just like those who serve in the military, these are people who, who risk their lives for us to, to save our lives, to take care of us. Absolutely. From and the city I'm of Rittman, Ladder yeah. 56. That's an interesting truck. Yellow. Very sporty. Big ladder truck. This is always a favorite of the kids, too. The kids just love it. Love the big trucks. Well, something's interesting coming up behind I the big truck. I see that. The Surrey Fire Safety House. There's a house on fire. There really <laughs> is. And they're in the right parade for it. <laughs> Indeed they are. This is part of the Lafayette Township Fire Department. They probably use it as an educational service for, I'd for people. I so. Maybe training. A see smoke idea. pouring out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and they serve Lafayette Township, Chippewa Lake Village, and surrounding areas. You see smoke coming out of <laughs> yes, it. Yes, we do. Hopefully it's supposed to do that. I think it is. <laughs> I know. I'm hoping so. <laughs> and there's our fire and rescue, Lafayette. A lot of money goes in these trucks oh for obviously goodness, good yes. reason, but there's your tax dollars working for the benefit of the community. Mm -hmm. Orville Fire Truck for, from the fire department, Orville. Or can you name the, the little ghost on the I door? I see that. It's Casper. It's Casper in, fi in, in, in firefighter gear. Here comes another Willys, an old Jeep. There's Casper. <laughs> a Willie's Jeep. Probably used to go out and, and uh, fight brush fires and probably out Most in the, likely. Yeah, in the woods. In tight spots where it's hard to get a big truck back to, I would imagine, right? Certainly. Yeah, that's a nice little Jeep. It is a nice little It's in great Jeep. shape. And here comes the balloon oh, man again. There he is. He's working hard tonight. Here come our friends from Sharon Township. They're a big heavy rescue truck. That must be fun for a young child to mm -hmm. ride one of those big trucks. Sharon Township, while well represented tonight, they're of course neighbors of ours, are they not? Yes. That's interesting, heavy rescue. I, I, I'd like to know more about that. I would what, too. What qualifies for that? What is heavy rescue? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Probably people of my weight. Oh dear, Joe. <laughs> Let's not even go there, okay? Never mind. <laughs> Here's a fire truck from Seville. Mm -hmm. Seville and Guilford Township. You know, we're in the quiet zone, so if our fans don't hear a lot of sirens going off, the kids are kids are getting, trying to get them to toot toot, but we are in the quiet. So that's important to know if you ever want to come down to the parade, but you don't like the noise necessarily. I think it's from Fairlawn down to Beck Street, I believe, is the quiet zone. I think zone. so. I read I'm that glad you said that paper. because a lot of people always ask about why they don't hear the sirens go off and everything. Right. You have to go outside of the zone to hear the noise. Guilford Township, mm -hmm. another Seville fire truck. It's a really big, beautiful, beautiful truck. fire truck. Oh, Can't be yeah. very old either. Gosh, it looks, it brand, looks new. brand spanking new. Yeah. With some snazzy lights on it. That's a beautiful truck. That's what's neat about the fire trucks here. That they bring in the new ones. You can see all the modern equipment. Yes. On and they also bring the, the, the old, old ones. Yeah, the older ones. That one from the 60s, was <laughs> <laughs> the time period I grew up, didn't look that old to me. No. But <laughs> I'm sure it's an antique to many. I guess. It's becoming an antique. That's a scary yeah. thing. And John's getting a couple good shots of the fans. And we're back to our our trucks, Seville EMS, Fire and EMS. And we'd like to thank our crew again, John mm -hmm. Matting and everybody in, in our studio on wheels. <laughs> we do all the work John. for us and make they, everything so easy. They do. You know, they treat us like royalty here. This is a pretty good job, Joe. I think I'll keep it for a little while. It's a lot you, of fun. You, you get paid? They <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> Was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> no. Uh oh, no, no, I don't. 
<laughs> Here's the Sterling Fire District. Sterling. Sterling's close by us. I'm bad on my geography. Sterling is where? Close by. Not far. Okay. Oh. Well, I know Copley, for crying Why? out loud. I'm <laughs> yeah. from, I think we both have a little bit of a Copley connection. And that's my hometown, near and dear to my heart. Great looking truck. Very nice. I love this one coming up with Oh, the I do too. That There's more of our crowd. Mm -hmm. Getting the Love parade route yeah. across the street. There they are. There you go. That's an interesting gig, yeah. Joe. What's that? What's it's that? It's a whirly gig. <laughs> it's a whirly gig. <laughs> I think gig. you've got the scientific name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does a thing other than whirl and has a okay. gig to it. I guess. I think it just gets attention. It'll catch it's kind of neat. I think it's really nice. You like nice. your whirly gig. <laughs> <laughs> they like it too. Yeah. Another heavy rescue. Yeah, we have to find out about Township. those. Oh, here's an oldster, Joe. Okay, this is one of Wadsworth's old trucks, huh? And, of course, somebody in the front seat with a cell phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully not getting a call. Hopefully not. Ever ready. Bristol engine, number two. This another, is the old fire trucks. I remember the one. open cab. I love those. Those are terrific. They're fun to ride on the back. I'm, I'm not kidding. Oh, not I mean, that. they really are. Here's all the boots lined up. We're going to yeah. get a good shot of the boots just in case. They're ready to go, those boots are. Now, that's the end of the fire trucks, I do believe, Joe. And coming up right behind them is the Country Line Young Life. It's a non denominational organization for high schoolers in Wadsworth, Revere, Highland, and Copley School Districts. And they meet on Monday nights during the school year. And there they are. Do you think there's a theme <laughs> to their float? I think so. Pirates. Pirates. Arr. 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 <laughs> I got to say R on TV. Arr. I always I wanted to do that. Now we did it. I'm already. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Gen Fed. The, the uh, Federal Credit Union's uh, entry is a 1945 Ford driven by Garland Moses. Beautiful. Oh, it's Beautiful excellent. That's a great oh, shape. Oh, my golly. I love it. There's a front shot of it. That's a beauty. Oh, what did you excellent. say that was? A 1945 Ford. Ford. And right behind is our entry from Advance America with a big $50 bill on the side. I'd like to have that. I would too. And here comes Hoppy from Wadsworth White House Chicken. He's coming right behind the $50 <laughs> bill. There you he see him there. He is. White House Chicken is located on 199 Great Oaks Trail in the Bueller's Plaza. They are open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. For the best chicken in Wadsworth, stop in today. Owners uh, Mitty and Lisa Palevic along with their staff. Thank you for your continued patronage and hope they will uh, that you will have a great Blue Tip weekend. And there's our friends from Bethany Friends Church located at 8127 Wadsworth Road and they have their vacation Bible school. They have a theme this year, Jerusalem's Galilee by the Sea, where Jesus provided. And right there, Need Mulch. Steve Landscape is in a full-service lawn care and landscape company that provides high-level service at affordable prices. We are locally owned and operated and provide services to the local surrounding communities. Call for your free estimate today at 330-825-0728. And need mulch. I do need mulch. I do, way. too. Coming up next, Pinnacle Gymnastics. They've opened up in 1998, serving young gymnastics and tumbling needs for children ages 8 months to 18 years and you'll see a couple of them tumbling around they're located at state route 18 and will be staying on state out state route 18 moving into some new facilities this winter and we get to see them show off what they know how to do best there's a lot of young ones mm -hmm. and they're very good that's excellent. future cheerleaders and gymnastics Say. and gymnasts what a great sport very good this cannot be easy to do out here on the road oh, it can't be Whoa. That's spectacularly good. Boy, oh boy. She needs a round of applause for that effort. Very that good. Was beautiful. Excellent. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool, too, Joe. Some hand walking, if that's what you would call it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hand walking. <laughs> Here's
Here comes uh, uh, Wadsworth Office Max. Stop by your newest location, our newest location, at 1553 Williams Reserve Boulevard between Target and Coles. Office Max, impress. Mm -hmm. What's your thing? I'm, that's not, I'm not asking you that. It's what's I know, on I'm not answering. <laughs> I'm just looking at the next float or the next entry, which is Ritzman Natural Health Pharmacy. You can come and see the difference at Ritzman's, located on the square in downtown Wadsworth. It's our hometown pharmacy for over 57 years. Like the pharmacies of old, Ritzman's pharmacy staff is friendly, knowledgeable, and concerned about your health. They also serve up a pretty delicious smoothie and shake and I know our my office is located right next door and we've got some pretty great stuff and there's Kathy one of the oh, oh throwing, throwing candy at us <laughs> there she is I okay. didn't need that up here comes Wadsworth City Schools my employer which <laughs> you've been 